How about it, y'all? Well, I'm getting ready to paint this here pearl. We uh just gonna do the best we can with the stuff that we got. I did buy some high build uh primer there that I'm gonna put on her. But uh, you know, the goal is not to have a three thousand dollar paint job because really the car ain't worth three thousand dollars. We just trying to make it all one color. Could a guy do that? Anyways, let me take you around and I'm gonna show you the various colors that we're dealing with because it's the last time we'll be able to see them. You can see the different colors and I'm not sure if that's a brown or a primer. I found some brown around a gas tank lid. So I'm thinking that it could have been a brown car at one time or maybe this color here. Not sure, but you can see I like the green the best. Uh, I should have went with the green, but anyways, just so you know, this tape here was Amazon special. Don't ever buy that. It was the sorriest junk I've ever used. Uh, just, just horrible, horrible. I got the paper here from the dollar store. I think it was a dollar and a quarter for a roll, about like that. Um, so I think I bought two rolls and it did it all. Didn't have to cut a bunch of newspaper and whatnot. I'm gonna show you real quick the high dollar gun I'm using. I do got a I think it's a siphon feed over there, brand new in the box, but I'm not really wanting to clean that thing out and get it even dirty for uh, this here. Maybe if I was painting a piece of farm equipment, I might bust out the better gun, but with the old car, I ain't doing it. But anyway, I got this here. Again, Amazon special. It's probably about as good as the tape. Gunnor. Thing says Gunnor. Whatever. I don't know what it costs. I think it was probably $25 or maybe less. But it's real simple. It's got plus or minus here, more or less. Uh, and it does some things here. But it's really easy to clean. Uh, and I could use the air gun, but really my air compressor's got moisture in it. And I don't have filters and regulators and all this. And I don't feel like making some cobbling stuff together right now. So we just gonna bust out the ginor. But I'll show you, I got some just some paint thinner in it right now. And uh thing sounds like a dang vacuum cleaner or something. It sucks air in the back and does that number. I don't know about y'all, but that looked like it worked pretty doggone good to me. I got this high build. Uh, it said restoration, so I figured uh, so what I kind of what I'm doing is restoration, so I bought that. Uh, high build. I'll do a couple of coats, maybe three, and uh, then I'll block sand it because uh, there is some blemishes in this thing. There's a lot of craters where, where the paint had rusted at. But anywho, I got to find me some PPE, some what does that even stand for? Properly, properly protected ejection. I, I don't know. Anyways, I had this hanging on the wall, but as you can see, that's toast. So I'll probably just get some sort of mask and maybe some rags and uh, make my PPE. But anyways, let me build all that up and we're going to get started here. We successfully got this thing one color, but I'll tell you what, if y'all ever try to use one of these Ginors to paint a car, don't. Let me show you what to do with this thing. That thing sprayed way too bigger water droplets, uh, or paint droplets, I should say. It didn't have enough Uh, PSI is what I'm saying. And the big old droplets scattered and it made this thing rough. Uh, but she's sanding out. I am getting down to the bare metal in a few spots uh, right around the corners and stuff, but we just gonna do that number. You know, we didn't see that. But this is my method. I'm taking the orbital sander here. I got some 120 on it. We hitting it one time. Then I'm taking a block 
made for sheetrock. But uh, then I'll hit it, you know, I'm hitting it one time with the block. And she gets her pretty doggone smooth. Then finally, I'm taking just a piece of old flexible sandpaper and hitting these weird angles and divots in this car. This car's got lots of shape to it. So we getting in there and this ain't the right way. You supposed to take and block this car with a, like a hard piece of board with some sandpaper on it. So it bridges across any imperfections with this high build uh, primer. But uh, I, I'm not going to block it. I try a little bit and it just, it just take me years and I ain't got that kind of time. I've sanded this thing as much as I'm going to sand it. I mean, it's probably been three hours and uh, I've been nonstop sanding. I sanded so much every time I stretched my arm out, the old rotator cup goes click, click, click. So that's about enough of that. Anyways, I got a different gun. We're going to try this. I do got the little regulator here. Drops it down to about 30 pounds. Uh, we're going to see. I don't know what kind of mix to mix. I'm going to try 50-50. Uh, maybe 60-40, 60, 60 paint. I'd rather have it thicker than thinner. But anyway, we're going to have to experiment on this. See what's going to work. And I am using the old high dollar Rust-Oleum. Tell y'all one thing, once I get this car painted, I'm gonna clean this shop up. This is driving me crazy. I ain't using my fancy mixing bucket that I had yesterday. I didn't feel like cleaning it. We got us a container, so we just gonna do 50-50. I can eyeball that. And I'm using just paint thinner. Should dry a little slower. Maybe a little more forgiveness on the splatter. Uh, way too much. Gun, try these different doodads. tickled with it if I don't mind saying. I did paint it three times with the Rust-Oleum Gloss Black and uh, one time with the primer and I put the Rust-Oleum on the last two coats thick. Just I brought it on around. But what I'll probably do no time soon but in the future in a month or two or three I'm going to hit it with some 2000 grit and buffalate the whole thing. Just buffer down. Uh, she still got a little bit of that lint, maybe from the floor. I don't know. I kept wetting the floor, trying to keep the dust down, but it still got a little trash in it. But anyways, I am tickled. So I just wanted to show it to you one good time. Uh, next, we're going to get on the trunk and go ahead and get that gold in the bottom of that thing. And uh, then we can put the fuel cell in and move on forward. Uh, get all the trim pieces on. Got the wiring kit on the way. Uh, kit harness, wire harness. I had to figure it out myself. Uh, hook blinkers and whatnot up. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, the painting video, I guess we'll call it. But I sure do appreciate everybody watching. Y'all have an outstanding day, and we'll catch you next time.